Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to demonstrate the application Loopback Audio, which is a software that works with Mac computers that allows you to combine the audio from different sources. So for example, let's say that you're recording your screen with QuickTime and you want that video to include the audio from your microphone, of course, but then also audio from Spotify or iTunes or even a YouTube video that you have open on Chrome. So Loopback Audio can combine all those different sources so that your video is going to include all of them. And it also has applications in live streaming. So for example, let's say that you're creating a YouTube live video and then you want the sound of your voice, but then you're also playing examples that are on iTunes and also Spotify. So you can use Loopback Audio to add those as well to your live stream. So essentially, this is what it looks like. The way it's going to work is you can create a new virtual device, add the sources that you want, and then that new virtual device is going to be available as if it were a microphone when you use QuickTime or another application to record a video. So you click here on new virtual device, and for example, this could be mic plus music players. So you can add your built-in microphone. In this case, I have an external audio interface that manages the audio for me, so I'm going to use that instead. I can see my microphone here. And then you can add your sources. So let's say that you're going to play examples that are on Spotify. So you can add that. And let's say that you're going to add examples that are on Google Chrome. So you can add that as well. So if you're recording a video with QuickTime, for example, it is important that you uncheck mute when capturing because otherwise your video is going to contain the audio but you're not going to hear it while you're recording your lecture, for example. So make sure to uncheck those. So this is what it looks like and in order to download it, you just go here to Rogue Amoeba Loopback Audio. Now it's not free. It is a hundred bucks, but you can try it to see if it is useful for you. And also they have an academic discount, uh, which is going to bring it down to about $85. So after that, you can purchase and download it. And then it's going to show up as an application here on your Mac computer. And unfortunately, Loopback Audio only works for Mac computers, but the equivalent of it for Windows is an application called Jack Audio. Not to be confused with the Jack Trips. There are a lot of audio applications that start with Jack, but this one is Jack Audio. And the website is jackaudio.org. So if you have a Windows computer, then you can download that application instead. The good thing is that it is free. So it's a free virtual audio mixer. All right, so one of the applications is, let's say that you are in a Zoom meeting and then you want to share your computer audio. So you can go here to Preferences. And then your microphone, instead of being your built-in microphone or your external microphone, is going to be mic plus music players, that virtual audio device that we created with Loopback. And then now, if I play something from Spotify, for example, it is going to go through into the participants. Just make sure to have Enable Stereo checked because otherwise this is going to degrade the audio quality even more than what Zoom already does. Also make sure to turn on your original audio. That is going to improve the quality. I'm not going to go over that in detail because there are plenty of videos out there that explain that thoroughly. Now the other way to do this is to go to share your screen and then go to advanced and share music or computer sound only. But I find it a little bit easier to do that with loopback instead. Another application of it is, let's say that you're, that you are teaching a class through YouTube Live. So you can go to YouTube, go live. Then you see here that your audio input is the built-in microphone. So that is not going to include any audio that you play from Spotify, iTunes, or any other source that you have. But if you select mic plus music players, now your YouTube live stream is going to include the audio from those sources as well. And next, I'm going to show you how to use Loopback Audio 
to create asynchronous content using QuickTime. So I'm going to create a new virtual device here, and this is going to show up as a microphone on different applications. So I'm going to create one named Lecture, and I'm going to add the audio sources that I want to use for my video. So Pro Tools, iTunes, I'm also going to add... Um, you can add your built-in microphone. Uh, in this case, I have an audio interface, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to add my audio interface, which is all the way here on the bottom, uh, that has a nice microphone connected to it. And then now I have all this audio sources being combined into what is going to show up as a microphone named Lecture. So now I can open QuickTime, for example, and I can use the screen recording function. And then next to the record button, I have the option to choose the microphone, and I'm going to choose Lecture as the microphone. And now my video is going to contain the audio from all those applications. And now that I have Loopback set up, I can start recording my lecture or demonstration with the audio at high quality from um, Pro Tools. Or Spotify. Or iTunes, if I have a track there that is relevant for my lecture or demonstration. And that's it. There are many other things that you can do with loopback audio, but you get the idea. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.